we are all the Goblin Army. Everyone's here, and, and now we learn those two pieces, yes. Welcome Reaper fans, today I have a special show for you. Today I am painting my Kickstarter Sophie from the very first Bones Kickstarter. This was given to me by Tim and Tim is a Goblin patron of mine and a very good friend and I want to say thank you first to him for getting me this because I had the Bones Kickstarter but I never received this miniature in my pack which kind of broke my heart a little bit but Tim sort this out and got me it so here it is I'm gonna peep through here first dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at that. So there we are this came with all the bones kickstarters and the core sets from the very first bones kickstarter now this miniature is very special to me because I have been a biker all my life and today I'm going to paint this uh, bike um, and talk about a little bit about my past. I'm going to talk about the bike clubs I was in and how my life was years ago. Um, but it's going to be just me chatting away and I'm going to just paint this miniature up as I go. Um, and now and again I'll stop to tell you a bit about what I'm doing because when I start talking about the motorbikes I might just drift away into it all. <laughs> so today Kickstarter Sophie Original Bones. This is the metal version, there wasn't the plastic version. And this came with the core set of all the very first Bones Kickstarters and I never received one in my box. I was gone. <laughs> but that wasn't uh, that wasn't Reaper's fault. Um, I think that was just it was all new, so there were mistakes being made. So there we are. Okay, I've got some brush on primer from MSP and I've covered the whole miniature. And I'm gonna just go over now and start doing all the silver areas first on the miniature and then I'll do the colours and then I'll move on to Sophie and we'll go from there okay so um, motorbikes well I started riding motorbikes when I was about six or seven years old living on the farm in Lincolnshire my dad had an old moped so um, <laughs> when he was at work I used to <laughs> sneak out and go <laughs> and take this moped around the fields um, they tried to stop me at first and in the end they just gave up and I'd spend hours and hours going around all the fields causing the farmers making them chase me in their cars because I'd be flying around on this little moped <laughs> it was great fun on that farm honestly and um, that's when I started my motorbikes um, as I got older I went through more mo motorbikes when I was 16 or uh, just about 17 actually um, I bought my first 125 which was a DR 125 which was another off-road type bike and that was amazing and um, <laughs> there's this one time um, I've always been a bit of a I don't know, I wonder, I don't, I don't want to say bad boy biker, but I've always been that way orientated with the bike scene. I've always been on the, the, <laughs> how can I put it? I've always been on the um, enjoy your life more bike scene. I don't know how I can put it without sounding. Um, anyway, the point is, um, I had this uh, helmet, which uh, was for off-road use. And... Um, I decided to um, make some headphone sockets inside the helmet. Um, so I had the uh, I, I took out some of the foam in the helmet and replaced it with my old Walkman speakers. You know? 
and it worked perfectly. I had my little Walkman in my leather jacket and I was flying around on this uh, bike and the music blaring and I loved it. Anyway, I was a bit of a speed freak on my little bikes so um, I got stopped by the police and um, this policeman got out and he came over to me in the, in, on my bike and he's shouting at me and I got this head I got the headphones in my in my helmet and they're blasting a bit of Iron Maiden you know I can't hear a word he's saying all I can see is his lips moving and I can't get to the button on my on my headphones to switch the damn thing off <laughs> so he so he's shouting and all I can see is him just like lip syncing and I'm like mm-hmm 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 oh mm-hmm yeah mm-hmm no, written no, oh mm-hmm but I didn't have a, yeah I didn't have a word what he's I didn't have a clue what he's going on about. Um anyway like I say I got um um I got the take the helmet off and then I had four points on my license for that. So it was funny at the time but not funny. there we go. This is what happened. Anyway moving on uh, in later life, of course, um, I started painting my motorbikes and spraying motorbikes and doing mule mules on motorbikes. Um, and it was a fantastic time in my life. And in the UK, you've got three main custom motorbike, three main custom motorbike um, clubs. You've got Hell's Angels. You've got the Outlaws, and you've got the Chopper Club. Now, I'm not going to tell you which one I went into, uh, because I'm no longer in the club. Um, so, no, we don't really talk about that. Um, but the life I had for a few years in that club was amazing. Um, we went all around Europe with the club, um, there's this one time we went um, to Germany and if you can imagine 600 700 hairy bikers taken over a ferry to France uh, it was absolutely mental I mean we literally took over the ferry um, and we uh, rode all the way uh, into Germany, Holland, um, and it was crazy. When we went onto the autobahns in Germany, and of course the autobahns in Germany there's no speed limit. Now there's there's hundreds of us, and it was it was absolutely it was the worst weather I've ever rode in. Um, you could not see in front of you. I mean, I was following one of my one of my friends. And all I could see was his tail light from the motorbike. Now, if he had gone off the road into a bush, I would have followed him because all I could see was his tail light. And we was all going about a ton. We was just flying down this autobahn. And it is, you can't see in front of you. Where's a bunch of nutcases? But it was so much fun. Scary, but fun. When, um, oh, and another thing that happened when we was on the autobahns is on the autobahns they don't seem to stop anybody going on these autobahns and there's this one time where we're flying along the autobahn and this tractor must be going about 60 odd miles an hour and he's carrying a huge trailer of potatoes now we're all following him and as he's going down the autobahn these potatoes are bouncing off the trailer and you no know, so we're going quite fast plus the speed that he's going I mean these potatoes are hitting us <laughs> like nearly 100 miles an hour I got hit in my kneecap and I had to stop my motorbike because it, it kind of paralyzed my leg luckily enough I was okay um, but one of the boys one of these potatoes I actually saw it, it hit him in the face and took his nose clean off. It, it was mental, but so much fun. 
Uh, okay, so I'm getting on this um, this silver. As you can see, I'm sorry, I'm getting, I, I, I always get carried away talking about motorbikes. There we go. Right, so I'm going to just going over all the chrome bits. Just going over all the chrome bits. With the silver, very simple. I mean, once those chrome bits are all done, I'll go over with a black ink wash. Nice. Used to spend hours and hours every week. We used to polish our chrome bits on the motorbikes. Because I've always been into custom bikes. Um, I've not been a sports bike fanatic. It's always been custom, you know, Harley Davidsons, that type of thing. Um, uh, my first tattoo uh, when I was 17 was a uh, Harley Davidson tattoo. Um, when I was in the club, I was uh, kind of the, the chef for the club. So every time we had meetings, um, I'd be cooking up the hot pots and stuff. Um, which is great fun. Okay, right, I'm going to stop now and get my next colour. But there we are, that's just the main silver one already. It won't take long to paint this miniature. I'm going to use some Nor Black for all the frames, the tank and the tyres. Um, black was always one of my colours. I mean, my hog motorcycle I had, which you know, is completely black and chrome. It was a massive bad boy bike. Oh, I loved it. Um, as the years progress, though, you know, you have to sell things, you know, you're buying a house. Uh, life changes and you know these things happen um, uh, the bikes the bike clubs were a fantastic way of life um, and I would recommend it if to anyone because you do make some of the best friends ever um, and you know you all look after each other and you know, it's, it's nice. It's a nice. It's a nice community. A bit like the D and D community on Twitter. Everybody looks out for each other. So I'm just getting the frames and everything done on this now. Yes, the club I was in um, was in Wales, and Wales had some beautiful places to go for rides. And um, about four times a year, the club we used to. Um, go on to runs on bank holidays and we go to meetups all, all around the UK and Scotland and everywhere and um, it was a fantastic thing to do it was amazing um, it, it's a completely different way of life um, I mean a lot of people watch um, Sons of Anarchy that show that was from America um, it's not. That's a. It's a good show, but it's. Uh, it's not uh, that. That show really, you know, took it to the extreme. It wasn't. It's not. It's not like that. You do get some bad eggs, couple. Um, but it's not all that bad. Not in the UK anyway. Not that I know about. Um, end of the day, you join these clubs for the love of motorbikes. Nothing more.
but uh, these uh, TV shows they uh, they really do hype things up just for viewing pleasure um, yes there are a few things that are very similar um, to what the clubs do but um, it's not like the shows that you see on telly those, those shows are ridiculous um, I mean then again I don't know what the American club uh, bike scenes like I'm talking UK club uh, bike scene I mean it's a different way of life Um, I left the club um, about t 10 years ago now, I think, maybe, maybe more, it's been a long time, long, long time. But I'm still friends with some of the boys. Um, you don't lose friendships with these type of people. fingers to uh, be a good miniature painter a very good miniature painter because um, it's just trying to get hold of the miniature like, look at my thumb there it's like it takes up half the, the mini <laughs> Okay, so moving on, what I've done now is I have painted all the flesh tones on Sophie using Scholar Flesh and I've done some graveyard bone on the front just here. So I'm just waiting for them to dry and then we'll go and I will add some black ink wash to all the metal ends. I'll add some brown ink wash to the front skull and I'll use some army painter flesh wash for all the flesh areas. So while this is drying, I found a couple of my photographs. Um, so I'm going to show you one of the bikes I built and painted. This is a let's get it in the photograph. This is a, a CB 550 Honda that I built back in the late 90s. Um, I stripped the whole motorbike. I had extended forks. Um, I stripped the whole frame took away the engine, the seats. I remade the seat. I uh, repainted all the paint there. Um, as you can see, I added a, a Diablo or Devil to the tank. I added a naked shadow of a lady on the front there. Painted all the spokes and wheels. Uh, this won a, this won a, a custom show award back in years ago um, for one of the clubs. And I won a won a painting contest for the artwork on this motorbike um, and this was back in 2000 I think it was um, it was a fantastic build this bike has uh, four uh, cylinders it has four drag pipes with no silencers on it it was loud <laughs> we liked loud bikes back in the day so this was my ride for quite a, quite a while and it's beautiful beautiful bike it wasn't the comfiest of bike um, you could get about 110 and 110 miles an hour on this motorbike but um, it felt like 200 miles an hour because as you can see the seat was so low it's a hardtail chop so you had no suspension on the back um, but beautiful 
and here's a quick picture this is me as a younger man this was when I was um, I was touring uh, Spain um, I went all around Spain on my uh, motorbike this is a Suzuki for Lucia uh, this is um, an 800 cc motorbike um, I got this bike um, I wanted to get the Harley Davidson but the same equivalent for the Harley Davidson was uh, about fifteen thousand pounds and this one cost me about five thousand pounds and it was a beautiful ride I needed something that wasn't too expensive um, but going around Spain on that was just bliss absolutely I've had a fantastic life uh, riding motorbikes absolutely fantastic life when I was in Spain of course um, I worked all around Spain but I I worked in the restaurants so I was able to pay my way uh, so I was always working never a freeloader so there we are those um, I got thousands of photographs but I'm not gonna show you millions of photographs we'll get back to the painting now uh, but I just wanted to show you uh, the motorbike that I built because I'm quite proud of that and um, it was such good fun painting because what I when I was a chef I used to um, uh, have a lot of free time in the evenings because most of the places I worked it would be a living position so um, I'd be stuck in my room so I'd be painting miniatures and I'd be painting the tanks and the wheels of my motorbikes <laughs> so it was all good fun okay so the ink washes have dried now and as you can see I've added it all to the engine and the wheels I've added the brown ink wash to the front and I've added a flesh wash to all the wings and the legs and the body so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish off the boots, do a hair. The hair is going to be red because I like all my lady figures to look like Scorpla. <laughs> and um, I'll come back once I've done those items and then I'll just show you quickly the highlighting and details and then we'll be calling it a day. So we're coming up to the final stages of the miniature now. I've added the hair, I've added the tiny details like the buckles and the boots and I've started to highlight the engine parts. Now to highlight the engine parts all I'm doing is I'm going over with the silver. So the top of the engine and just certain areas just highlighting the edge of the metal like so. And that's going to be all over the metal parts just on the edges of the metal. All I need to do now is finish Sophie's face and we're done. What I'll do is I'll come back and I'll show you the completed miniature. So here we are, this is my finished Sophie. This is the Kickstarter Sophie from one of the Bones Kickstarters, the very first Bones Kickstarters to be precise. And I'm very happy with this. This looks like an old school hog. Um, as you can see, I uh, on the V-twin V -twin engine, I've uh, added the silver just to bring out a little bit more of the highlights from the silver Sophie's eyes are nicely painted in and the wings have been highlighted and the rest of the bike I wanted the bike to be matte black because um, I've always preferred motorbikes in a matte black color so there we are I hope you enjoyed this video I know I ranted a lot about my uh, past uh, as, a, as a biker but um, it uh, is very precious to me so I really enjoyed making this video and sharing a little bit about my past so if you enjoy what I do then please uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to support the channel then please become a patron all patrons get added to the end credits of all my videos so until next time and take care on the roads
Goodbye, my fellow rats. Sleep well. Dream of evil. Paintbrushes. Ha, <laughs>